The two-stage theory or stagism a Marxist-Leninist political theory which argues that underdeveloped countries, such as Tsarist Russia, must first pass through a stage of capitalism before moving to a socialist stage. The two-stage theory was applied to countries worldwide which had not passed through the capitalist stage. The discussion on stagism focuses on the Russian Revolution. However, Maoist theories, such as New Democracy, tend to apply a two-stage theory to struggles elsewhere. In the Soviet Union the two-stage theory was opposed by the Trotskyist theory of permanent revolution. Theory In Marxist-Leninist theory under Stalin the theory of two stages gained a revival. More recently, the South African Communist Party and Socialist Alliance Australia have re-elaborated the two-stage theory, although the Socialist Alliance differentiates their position from the Stalinist one. Criticism <coughs> 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 The two-stage theory is often attributed to Marx and Engels, but critics such as David McClellan and others dispute that Marx and Engels envisaged the strict application of this theory outside of the actually existing Western development of capitalism, although all agree that Marx and Engels argue that Western capitalism provides the technological advances necessary for socialism and the grave diggers are the capitalist class in the form of the working class. Critics of the two stage theory, including most trends of Trotskyism, counter that Marx and Engels denied that they had laid down a formula to be applied to all countries in all circumstances. McClellan and others cite Marx's reply to Mikhailovsky. Mikhailovsky feels he absolutely must metamorphose my historical sketch of the genesis of capitalism in Western Europe into a historico-philosophic theory of the general path every people is fated to tread, whatever the historical circumstances in which it finds itself but I beg his pardon, he is both honoring and shaming me too much." In the preface to the Russian edition of the Communist Manifesto of 1882, Marx and Engels specifically outline an alternative path to socialism for Russia. In Russia, the Mensheviks believed the two stage theory applied to Tsarist Russia. They were criticized by Trotsky in what became the theory of permanent revolution in 1905. Later, when the two stage theory reappeared after the death of Lenin in the Soviet Union, the theory of permanent revolution was supported by the left opposition. The permanent revolution argues that the tasks allotted in the two-stage theory to the capitalist class can only be carried out by the working class with the support of the poor peasantry, and that the working class will then pass on to the socialist tasks and expropriate the capitalist class. The revolution cannot pause here, however, and must remain «permanent» in the sense that it must seek worldwide revolution to avoid isolation and thus move towards international socialism. See also Historical materialism Impossibilism Menshevik <inaudible>